Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And here we go with another haul video. Now this was very similar to my previous video with uh, just a huge, ridiculous haul from everywhere. Goodwill, Salvation Army, thrift stores, everything. So we're gonna get right into it. Before I get the clothes, I'm gonna show something. Uh, I mean, it is clothes related, but something that I don't really pick up that often. But I found these nice Jordans right here. I think they're uh, Jordan Flight SC3, SC13, something like that. But they're in decent shape. Not amazing, but decent shape. Uh, I got these for ten dollars. I should be able to get forty out of that, you know, maybe fifty if I'm lucky. But I'm uh, moving right on to it. Uh, the first thing is this vintage Looney Tunes sweater tie dye right here. So I got this for eight dollars, or was it eight or six, something like that. But regardless, I'm gonna try my best to get forty out of this. If not, I'll probably just sell it for thirty. Um, a very nice pickup there. I saw that, and that's relative because I primarily focus on men's clothing but i'd like to get into you know finding out more about women's clothing you know more options more money so on and so forth so um taking baby steps i know women's clothes men's clothes two very different things you gotta be very careful with what you buy with women's clothing a lot more trickier so i saw this uh women's uh sleeve shirt right here it is uh merino cashmere that's pretty much i don't know if you guys can see that because the camera will focus on it but uh uh damn that's pretty bright anyways uh, I got it for two dollars. That's not like the only well, two reasons. Number one, it's cashmere. And number two, it was two dollars. It was on sale. I was like, there's no way, there's no way that I don't get a minimum, minimum like eighteen dollars for this, and that's minimum. So I'm gonna try to get twenty five, and then I'll just work my way down if no, if uh no one bites. Um, and my last uh female clothing was this little turtleneck sweater, which I wouldn't have gotten. The only reason I got it, number one, because it was obviously in great condition. But the biggest selling point, if not the only selling point, was the fact that it's L.L. Bean, Freeport, Maine. Another L.L. Bean. I think this is only my second time getting a uh, Freeport, Maine L.L. Bean. So I feel that right there should be enough. I think I paid, uh, I think like, that was on sale too. Like 4 or $5, I think. Once again, I'll try to get 25 uh, but I'll gl gladly settle for like 20 uh, Next up, now I did find a sweater. Cause I did mention the other day that I found that pelagic sweater. You know, that was my first time finding it finally. And what do you know? Yesterday I find this. Now it's not as crazy, it's just a simple shirt. I'm not expecting anything. Um, well, I'm not expecting anything crazy. Of course, I'm expecting something. I think I only spent like three dollars on pretty much everything here was on sale yesterday when I got it. So I probably go for maybe 16, 17 dollars for this. Like I say it's just a plain blue shirt, nothing too crazy about it. I'm just leaning on the name. It's you know, it's one of those items where you just gotta lean on the name. And that was not the uh, only pelagic. I found this as well. Another pelagic. This is more like a swimwear kind of thing. Long sleeve material. Um, it's only a medium. All right, so it's not going to sell as uh, as high. So same thing. Maybe only 20, 18 bucks. Some in the area. But once again, only got like uh, paid three bucks for it. So not too bad there. Uh, moving on. Um, once again, I've, I only have one of these. So now I've got two. This is a uh, Timberland shirt. I got a sweater and now I've got a, a dress shirt. So a nice little profit there to be made. I, I like to think maybe 25, possibly 30. I think, think that might be pushing it though. But 25 for sure seems safe. And I think I only pay like uh, $2.50. Because once again, on at this store, it was like half off. Every, every clothing item was half off. So I got like uh, $2.50. It was like $5 original. And I pretty much told myself I'm not going to buy any more of these. But it's like... You know, it's hard to pass up when the deal is like that good, which of course I got two of them, which is uh, Peter Miller's Summer Comfort. That's, that's like the only way I'll buy Peter uh, Peter Millar. I keep saying Peter Miller. I got to learn to start saying Peter Millar. That's like the only way I'll be buying it from now on is if it's Summer Comfort. The only way I'll buy Peter Millar without Summer Comfort is obviously if it's like new attacks. That's different. But for the most part, that's the only way I'll be buying it from now on. And... I mentioned before, plenty of times, it wouldn't be a uh, thrifting video with me if Vineyard Vines did not make an appearance. Uh, very simple shirt. Oh, by the way, the uh, Peter Millar shirt, I got them for, I got them at the same store for, on sale of course, for like $3 each. I could probably get, maybe get 18, 20 out of those, so a nice little profit there. Uh, Vineyard Vines shirt, uh, I think I paid like what, maybe $4? Four, $4? No, two fifty. because yeah, it was on half off uh, store it was five dollars original got it for 250 so i i, I would imagine eh, maybe 20 
25 no, maybe not 25 20 dollars not too bad of a profit there now this is the one that got my attention as soon as i saw like the first shirt that i saw at one of these stores as soon as i pushed the rack back and started searching i came across this and i like the embroiderment i'm not gonna lie the the uh the design on this shirt is pretty interesting you know the the design alone could maybe get someone interested in buying it right but then a little cherry on top <laughs> it's patagonia so like a nice little patagonia button i'm sure with that design i'm sure there are plenty of people who are going to try to take a shot at this so i'm i actually i'm going to raise the price because normally if it was just a plain shirt like this i'd probably save maybe 20 but because of that embroiderment i might go for maybe 25 hell i might even try 30 just to see if i can get lucky if somebody really wants it like that bad right uh, let's see what else next we got here what was this oh yeah i don't really buy uh giorgio armani shirts you know but the one reason i pulled the trigger on this one on sale two dollars so i was like two dollars is hardly a risk i'd like to think minimum maybe 18 20 dollars which like i said to buy something for two bucks and resell it for 18 or 20 how is that not a win right all right Next up, what is this right here? This is the, uh, <laughs> I, I, I completely forgot I got this. I just talked about it. Peter Millar, Summer Comfort. But this is actually a dress shirt. All of my Peter Millar shirts, they're all polos or regular t-shirts. I do not have a single, I didn't even know Peter Millar made dress shirts. But I like this one because the, the collar is very strong. So this is like rarely worn if ever. So I'll probably list it for 25, but if anything, I'll probably get it, for, I'll uh, drop it down to 20. But I do believe I paid like four bucks for that. All right. Oh, I completely forgot. I know I said I, that was all the women's clothing. Oh, I was wrong. This is the last women's clothing. Now, once again, at first glance, it's not really anything great. But the only reason I got it, the selling point, was that it's Burberry Golf made in Italy. I believe I paid four bucks for this at a thrift store. And I like to think, I mean, I looked up the comps on these. These go for in the 30, 40 area, maybe more depending on condition, but great condition overall. Paid four bucks for it. So I might just like undercut everybody and try to go for like 35 or something. Make a very, very nice profit there. Let's see here. Uh, next up was this. Oh, <laughs> I, oh man, my memory is not good this morning. This is actually the last female clothing, which is a, a Batman hoodie, which in amazing condition just by touching that you can tell it was hardly washed probably never even washed probably like worn once or twice and with the winter coming up hoodies in general are going to be now the really great thing about this is two reasons number one it's getting colder hoodies and sweaters and whatnot are going to be more in demand and i believe there's a new batman movie coming out so it's like that's that's two reasons why this value might go up pretty decently i got this for i do remember i think it was uh, six or eight dollars and i'm probably gonna post for like 30. I feel the cold weather and new Batman movie coming out in good condition. I think this could easily go for maybe 30. 25 at the lowest. All right, let's see. Two more things. Here we go. This is a... Ah, now I've been looking for this brand. Can never really find it, which is uh, Cinch. And once again, the collar is good. Very good condition. So these type of shirts can go between 20 and 30. Uh, I picked it up for, I believe it was four bucks, and I'm pretty sure I could maybe get 20 out of it. I'll try 25, most likely. I'll try 25. But the biggest of all, my biggest find of the day by far was this vintage New York Yankees shirt from uh, Cooperstown collection. And now, the, now this is probably the biggest mystery and the biggest find of all for two reasons. Number one, uh, the, the prices are like all over the place. It could... They go from 40 all the way up to 100, depending on condition, of course, and whatnot. But the thing is, this one doesn't have a, a, a player's name on it, so it's just a plain jersey. So that kind of takes it. I don't know if that adds value or if it takes away value, because if you know if, if you got a player's name on it, that's great, but it's just for that one player. If you just got a, a plain jersey representing the entire team, you know that might add value. So you know it, 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 it could really go either way. So just for fun, I'm actually going to put this up for uh, 100. I'm going to put it for 100, see how it goes. And every so often, I'll just keep dropping and dropping and dropping until weeks go by and see where it goes from there. But that to me, I thought to myself, wow, somebody messed up. Somebody was not paying attention. <laughs> and they just put it up there. Uh, I think that's it. Yep. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, tomorrow, I will be doing a what's sold video for the whole week. Uh, so that's so that should be fun. You know, I've never done a what's sold video. 
I do got a kind of a bit of rain nose. I don't know if you guys can tell from my voice. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the video. See you later.